the act of painting is incredibly meditative. I will start thinking about actually other projects as I am painting and thinking about the stories that I want to tell, the communities that I want to work with, and why it's important. Some folks, you know, they get their ideas and they work things out in the shower. I often do it when I'm painting a huge wall. We are in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm here painting number seven of 10 of the Findings murals. Findings is a public art series that celebrates women and science. It creates parallels between basic science and the way I see women in society, which is vital, luminous, and using their power to shape our future. If we want to address the most pressing challenges of our time, it would be ridiculous and, and frankly silly to not rely on the brilliance and the creativity, ingenuity, and resilience of women and women of color in STEM. I think when you look at Limitless, it is a dream because it's aspirational. We want to see more women of color in physics. We want to see, you know, young women of color feel confident that they have a place in STEM so that they can help us tackle the most challenging issues of our time. You can see all of these women reaching out for each other and at a just personal level, we can connect to that sentiment of when we're isolated and we are trying to create or do things alone, we feel a little bit inert and stuck. And what's so beautiful about Limitless as a mural is that it really celebrates folks coming together and women of color especially standing together in solidarity and fighting for our shared future you see a bunch of hands reaching out in the center and kind of electricity sparking from it, it parallels so well with the magic that happens when we work together. I am the daughter of Thai and Indonesian immigrants. I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, and I grew up in a pretty homogenous environment. And it, I won't lie, it was a little tough. Um, it was isolating and I often felt like I just didn't belong. And it's a huge part of why a sense of belonging and fostering that sense of belonging is so crucial and kind of a core part of my art practice today. As this sort of next generation, we have a little bit more freedom and flexibility because of all of our parents' sacrifices to speak up for our community. Our community is being spat at, punched, shot, and killed. And, you know, at a time when only Asian media was covering, for example, how a, a grandmother in Brooklyn was set on fire or all of the other anti-Asian bias incidents happening, not just around New York City, but around the world, it was absolutely crucial for me to raise awareness and advocate for more support and resources for our community. I Still Believe has been acquired by a bunch of major museums, it's been on the cover of Time. It's, it's gotten a lot of praise and visibility, but I think what speaks most to artists when we create is when we hear that, you know, a mother telling us that her child shoved your art in someone's face when they were bullied, or when an older Asian American tells you that they feel a little safer having your art around them everywhere. I'm just someone who processes grief and pain through creating. So as I create work and as I create with others, I actually heal. Findings murals are portals to discovery and portals to belonging and portals to inviting folks in to conversations about equity and justice in our communities.
If there's anything to share with young people, it's that don't be afraid to share your authentic voice with the world. And the world needs it. The world needs, you know, all of the idiosyncratic kind of parts and facets of your identity in your work and kind of how you show up. I would encourage, you know, young folks to just be curious about, you know, why you see stars at night or why the sky is blue. You know, very simple things that kind of impact your daily life. And you might be surprised where those questions take you.